We're going to be going over how to change BPM in FL Studio, and it's a bit. We want to go from this to a slower tempo. We're going to right click on the BPM. We're going to copy value. We're going to right click again, and we're going to create an automation clip. Now you need to double click the automation clip and paste your value as minimum. So this is gonna be our base tempo. See, as you see here, let's go here and I'll change the automation clip. As you can see there, changes the tempo. So basically what we've done is told FL Studio that the minimum value of this automation clip is going to be our current tempo. And then we can change it again to whatever we want. Say we wanna go slower, like 100. Copy value and paste it as max. So now, this way, because if you don't do this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get all these like weird in-betweens like that. <gasps> Three sixes. <laughs> So I'll let you see how that sounds, and then there is a problem that happens with this sometimes, and I'll show you how to deal with that as well. So here's the problem you might get. Sometimes these loops will, if they're not, let me bring in another one. So you see what just happened, the clip changed size, and sometimes this can cause the loops to overlap and keep dragging on whenever it comes to, if this happens to you, you know what I'm talking about. I found a solution for this. Usually when you have the time stretching on right here, so you just uh, right click time, auto detect, and then you can, I usually just type it in, and sometimes FL Studio gets it right. Usually that will prevent it from doing that. Boom. As long as you have everything on time stretch or BPM synced, you should be good.